G'day everyone. This is a bit of a crazy camera angle, I realise. That's because I'm sitting on a park bench. Opening mail. Hey Robbie, you've got mail. You better check your mailbox. Okay Robbie, thanks mate. What's the address? Post office box 3006. Yaranga LPO. Wangaratta 3677. Right now, before I open this mail, I want to tell you something that happened to me yesterday. The good Lord, he came down out of the sky and he sat next to me and he said, Robbie, my son, come forth and receive eternal life. Well, unfortunately, I came fifth and completely missed out. Anyway, let's see what I've got here. Now, I do apologise to Matthew Boyles because this has been sitting on my desk for over a week. I've been really, really busy, as you can tell by the amount of videos I've uh, made lately. I've been having an absolute blast. I've been catching heaps of trout with a fly rod, with soft plastics. I've been uh, just really enjoying my fishing more than ever before, but it means I haven't uh, had a chance to open any mail. Right, Matthew Boyles. What has Matthew Boyles sent me? A very big long letter. Very neat handwriting, wow. Now, I love, I love these letters. This mail time segment was originally started for people to send me letters, and I love it. Letters, hand-drawn pictures. Somewhere along the lines, people have thought it's really cool to send me lures, and I fully appreciate it, and I love them, but I just need you to understand that I can't use them all because I've got bazillions of them. So if you want to send me some mail, a letter is more than adequate. I just love them. Now, let's see what Matt has said. <coughs> Dear Robbie, my name is Matt and I'm an emergency nurse at a major Melbourne ED. I've always loved fishing and have subscribed to both yourself and Rowan for the past 18 months or so. Back in March, April, when the first lot of COVID took off, work was pretty tense. There was a lot happening at home and I just wasn't finding the time to sit and enjoy the fishing videos. The second wave wasn't much better. I'm pleased to say as I write this, Victoria has hit 13 days of zero cases. And for the record, we're now up to, I think it's about 31 today. And I haven't seen a COVID patient in weeks. I've also had the chance to spend the last few weeks catching up on all the videos from May to now. In one of your mail time clips, you mentioned hoping you were helping people stay positive and cheer up those that couldn't get out. I wanted to write to say, mate, you definitely are keeping, keep up the great work. Living in Metro Melbourne and not being super into salt water means needing an hour or two driving at the best of times, let alone during restri restrictions. Watching your honest, realistic fishing videos has been like a mini fishing trip two to three nights per week and has got me excited for getting out again. Out of all your handy tips and hints, I think the best thing you've taught me is keep trying and keep and give it a go. Bear through the fishless trips and use that half day if, and use that half day if it's all you've got. We've got a tendency We've got a tendency to wait. Oh, sorry. We've got a tendency to wait for a long weekend of perfect weather, or for the next lot of annual leave. Now more than ever, I think I'll be more likely to grab the old man and just go for it. My wife and I have an anniversary in December. We were going to spend it in a ritzy hotel. Last week, without any persuasion, she suggested we go and stay a few nights northeast and go fishing instead. What a wife! How lucky am I? Anyway, apologies for the length of the letter. Thanks for keeping it real, plus the inspiration. Best wishes to yourself, Loretta, Sky, and Holly. Regards, Matt Biles. P.S. I'm allowed to watch your videos in bed at night, and my wife, my wife Bree says your voice is soothing. <laughs> well, folks, I've had, a, I've been called a lot of things over the years. I've had a lot of things said to me. I've never been told I've got a soothing voice. <laughs> Matt, that was such a kind message. I sincerely apologise for the length that it took me to get this out because, as I said, I've been really busy. But uh, I hope you understand. And being an, an emergency department nurse in Melbourne during a pandemic, I'm sure you know what being busy is all about more than anybody. And, Matt, you have my full 100% respect for the work that you and your colleagues do. A friend of mine from Bendigo went down to Melbourne to work in the, during the thick of the COVID crisis in the emergency wards because you guys are so busy and under a lot of pressure. Mate, you appreciate what I do, 
but we appreciate what you do more. I make people laugh and I inspire people. You save their lives and keep us alive. And for that, on behalf of everybody, I say thank you. Thank you not only for the letter, but thank you for the wonderful work that you do because as a healthcare worker myself, it takes a special kind of person to do the sort of work that you do, and that is work on the front line. So thank you very much, Matt. Now this one is heavy, and it come from the same people that sent me the signature series bait baits. This is from Josh Thurling. All right, let's see what the letter says. G'day Robbie, my name is Josh. This year we made you those Robbie Alexander signature series bait weights. You sure did Josh, I love them. I gave one to my friend Mark Taylor recently to tie on. He was fishing in the current and I said, I've got just the right sinker for you Mark. And now he's, uh, he's chasing your old man because he wants some. They are excellent weights and I use them all the time. A couple of weeks ago you were very nice in sending me a package wonderful, of wonderful gifts to cheer me up after being in hospital. I wanted to say, I didn't mention your name Josh but you just dubbed yourself in. I wanted to say a big thank you to you, Matthew and Russell Harris for the real, for the real and Lewis. I can't stop smiling, they are really cool. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes which means my pancreas doesn't work anymore. I have to have four needles a day to help control my blood sugars. Everyone has been very supportive and caring. I saw your video that you mentioned your daughter had been in hospital. I know how scary it is so my family picked out some gifts to bring a smile and a little happiness to both of your girls and help them get through these tough times. Thanks for all the effort you make in your videos, they are awesome. Hope to go fishing with you soon, thanks Josh. Josh, that is a wonderful letter and thank you so much. My daughter Skye was in hospital, she was in hospital at the same time that you were in hospital mate and I'm really sorry to hear about your battles. I wasn't going to mention your name because of confidentiality but if you've sent me the letter and you're happy for me to read it out, that is fine. Folks, remember I sent all those letters to a young friend of mine up in Albury that was sick? It was Josh. Now they've sent me some stuff for my daughter who was sick at the same time. We have some trolls. Some nail polish. Now, something tells me that this one's for me and not for my daughters. Some more nail polish. This is the first time I've opened nail polish on my uh, my, in my mail time segment ever. <laughs> We've got a unicorn. A unicorn with a brush to brush its hair. We've got a pair of notepads. It's a, I wonder what that was. It's a star, I'm thinking it's a star, but what does it do? They're all lids. They're all highlighters, so they can draw with colourful highlighters. That's a star highlighter. I've never seen one of them. That is really cool, Josh. We've got a uh, an awesome pen with heaps of different colours. It's a shame Holly's not with me to open this. <laughs> I didn't realise what was inside. We've got some fake nails. That's good, as soon as the girls put them on, I'm going to be asking for a back scratch. We've got another multicoloured pen. We've got some, a frozen puddle. Would you believe I actually sat down and watched Frozen with Holly the other night? Holly can be a bit of a grown up as far as kids go, but she still loves to do this sort of stuff. It's currently Monday, I think it was Friday and... Uh, yeah, it was. It was Friday night. On Friday night, Holly and I sat down and watched Frozen together on my TV, and we're going to be watching it again one night very... watching part two one night very soon. Ah, oh, yes! <laughs> and there's some stuff in here for me too. Actually, I'll get onto them last. We'll keep going with the kids stuff first. We've got some, uh... Make your own string bracelets. That is absolutely wonderful. And, uh, I'm sure that my girls are going to love that. And... We've got a squeeze character pen. A squeeze character pen. It looks like it's. It actually looks like a uh, a meringue from a bakery. I love meringues. They're my favourite sweet. A squeeze character pen. That's all the stuff for the girls, isn't it? Just wonderful. And I've got a couple of things here for me. I've got some more of the Robbie Alexander Signature Series bait weights. How cool are they? And 
We've got a few here for, for Brett Corker. I better give these to Brett before he sees this video. We've got some signature, are they? <laughs> We've got some Brett Corker signature series by the way. They are awesome. These sinkers that Matt makes, he doesn't sell them. They're not commercially available. He just does it for a hobby. He does it for me and, and a few of his friends and a few of my friends. Matt and his boys make them and they are just absolutely ideal for fast current water and, and because the, the water doesn't, uh, the current doesn't wash the sinkers away. They're just fantastic. Josh Thurling and the entire Thurling family, from the bottom of my heart, I say thank you very, very much. This has been one of the most heartwarming mail times that I've opened. As a dad of two girls, one of them that has been quite unwell recently, it just uh, warms my heart to know that you're thinking of us and you're thinking of my girls and I'm really looking forward to giving them this present. And, it, uh, and the wonderful message letter that I got from Matthew regarding keeping people entertained during the hard times. Folks, this is bringing people together. How good is it to bring people together? Josh, there is a spot for you when we go fishing this year. I've spoken to your dad and I said he needs to come down here and go fishing again because Matt and I fished last year and I just loved every minute of it. He's a wonderful man, your dad. Hopefully you can join us this year and wet a line with us.